Amen. All mics are on. They are still preparing in respect and reverence for your time. First, let us begin by simply thanking you for being here tonight. My name is Pastor Hodari Hamilton, and I serve as the pastor of the Shiloh Baptist Church. We are so excited. Many others are on their way. However, we do want to start on time. So let us begin with prayer since we're in the house of worship. And God, we thank you for the privilege of participation, of having a voice, of having leadership, of having a democracy, God. We thank you for these who would serve. We're gifted to have them here in Plainfield. God, we are asking now that you might give us clarity of heart, for the needs are many, and the task is serious. Set our minds and heart so that we might be focused. We thank you in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, on behalf of Shiloh Baptist Church, we are so grateful that you are here. This is not the first time that we have done this. We recognize that as a community of faith, it is our opportunity and obligation. It is our right and responsibility to participate in the work of community leadership. So thank you for being here. And I'm going to turn it over to our, to Sister Agers. Sister Is that Amen, Sister Ager? She is wonderful. Amen. Sister Ager works with the school year UC teams. She also is a former assistant to the pastor, to the former pastor, and she's an amazing, gifted, talented, godly sister. We thank God for her presence. Good evening. to you this evening, our moderator and our timekeepers. And the reason why I say it is a pleasure, because they have the awesome job of keeping you on point and on task and on time. So without further ado, I would like to introduce Marilyn, Marlene, Marlene. And our timekeepers, are Plantville residents Betty Wilson and Emily Manley. Are they here? Emily's here. Stand, Emily, so they can see you. Thank you very much. Just a point of clarity, 
One of the candidates did acknowledge that she had to leave early, so she will be here for uh, approximately 30 minutes, but 30, 40 minutes. I'll call her Reverend Brown, is that appropriate? She will be leaving early, but I begged her to come for that amount of time, just so she could, we could have a full, uh, full platform. Thank you. Okay. Um, good evening. Tonight's program is divided into two parts. Part, part one deals with the mayoral candidates running in the Democratic primary on June 6th. Um, there was a draw. The first part of the program is opening statements. Opening statements are two minutes in length. The candidates will see the timekeeper in front of them. At the end of a minute and a half, they will see a yellow piece of paper going up that says 30 seconds. This way you have an idea, you have 30 more seconds to complete your responses. And then, at the end of the two minutes, you will see a red piece of paper that says stop. Please complete your thought, but do not go on for after that. We drew lots to see who was going to go first, second, third, and fourth. Uh, the closing statements will be in the reverse order. So without further ado, oh, well, first, let me introduce the candidates. First, we have Reverend Tracy Brown sitting to her left, Dr. Henry Lynn Davis Ibezimizing uh, sitting next to him is the current, uh, the incumbent mayor, Adrian Mapp, and to Mr. Mapp's right, left is Ms. Bridget Rivers. Okay. Drawing first, Ms. Rivers. Good evening, everyone. First of all, I would like to thank Shiloh Baptist Church for hosting this event. I would like to thank the residents for coming out to hear our concerns. As I stated before, I haven't written anything down, but I just want to ask that on June 6th, that you come out and vote for Bridger Rivers. As your next mayor, I'm going to continue to use our resources that we have right here in Plainfield to promote Plainfield. We as, a, we as residents of Plainfield need and want better. This is time. It's time for real change. I'm asking you to come out and support strong leadership I currently serve as a city council member. Previously, I was a board of education member. And as I stated before, I understand these, I understand politics. I understand how this is supposed to work. We have a lot of development going on here in Plainfield, but we need some real sound economic development with the mixed use so we can get to the point where we're starting to stabilize taxes in this city of Plainfield. We need to invest in our infrastructure. Our infrastructure it is our youth. The infrastructure is our residents of this city of Plainfield. The infrastructure is our downtown area. In order for us to want good development to come here, we have to invest in our own first. We need a team center. We need a full service community center for our youth. This is, a, no applause. This is extremely important. We have programs going on. But I'm going to raise a lifelong resident, a mother of three, and a grandmother of two. A lifelong resident of this great city of Plainfield. When I was born, when I was raised here, we had all type of activities for our youth. We lost a great program called the Safe Haven Program. We've lost our youth and we must get our youth back. I'm asking, on June 6th, you come out and you support Bridget Rivers as mayor and my running mate, Alma Blanco, the second and third ward. Alma Blanco will not be here today because of her illness. She is healing, she is recovering, and she will be back on the campaign trail but her work speaks for herself, and let my record speak for me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next we have Dr. Next we have Dr. Henry, Henry Lee Davis um, <coughs> Basing, and tw two minutes, opening statement. My name is Henry Lynn Davis Ibezin. I especially want to thank the church for this forum. And I want to thank all the residents who are present this evening to listen to us. Last Sunday, I worshipped in this church. Interestingly, before coming to the church, I read my Psalm 27. And the pastor, 
preached on Psalm 27. What a wonderful day. I have lived in Plainfield for the past 20 years. And for the past 20 years, I have observed things not moving in the direction they should be moving. In elections past, I have had a sign of uh, Reverend Brown on my lawn <coughs> supporting her. I have also had the yes sign current mayor, Ma. My conclusion is that it doesn't pay to stay home and not make a contribution when things are not going right. Ordinarily, I would have stayed home and not bothered to be in a race for an office. I'm not running I'm mayor of Plainfield because I want to be a mayor. I'm running to become a mayor to make a difference in the lives of other people. You cannot give what you do not have. You can only give that which you have. You must have the knowledge and the know-how to be able to make a difference in the lives of people. If you do not have that knowledge, it is not possible to be able to make the differences that is necessary to move this city forward. I'm not going to be able to do it alone. I will need the help of everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, um, and next we have Mayor Adrian Mapp. Well, good evening to everyone. First, let me 